Today we are making a peanut butter banana cake for your dog that you and your dog can both enjoy made from wholesome healthy ingredients. Let's go. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Kira. I share easy and healthy delicious vegan recipes to make your plant-based journey less complicated and less overwhelming. Today we are making a dog birthday cake and I'm so excited because my little guy here, Milo, is turning three yesterday as of recording this. And it's super simple, only a few ingredients, and yeah, he was obsessed with it at his little birthday party. So the first thing you're gonna need is a couple of bananas. The riper, the better, because you want them to be nice and soft and easy to mush up. Next, you're gonna use either oat flour, or you can sub for regular flour, or whole wheat flour, whatever your preference is. I'm using oats just because I know that my dog loves them, I love them, and they are a really good gluten-free alternative if you're gluten-free. So I'm just blending up some oats here in my little bullet blender. Super easy, you just put oats in a blender, blend them for like 20 to 30 seconds until they become powdery, and now you have oat flour. Next, I'm gonna make a chia egg using just chia seeds and water. You wanna do one tablespoon of chia seeds and three tablespoons of water. You could even double up here if you want it to be a little bit extra fluffy and do two tablespoons of chia seeds and six tablespoons of water. And then just set that aside for about five minutes until it has this nice jelly consistency. In the meantime, you can mash up your bananas and once your chia seeds are set, add them into your banana mixture. Then you can add your peanut butter. I'm using this PB Fit peanut butter powder. So you just mix it with water and it becomes whatever consistency of peanut butter you like. So I'm doing probably about a quarter cup of peanut butter here. I'll put all of the exact measurements in the description box below for you. That is gonna be it for your wet ingredients, so just give that a nice mix. Right now it's only your peanut butter, bananas, and chia egg. We're gonna add in some water later once we add in our flour. Once that's combined, go ahead and add in your flour now. I have probably about two cups of flour here. I'm gonna add in just one cup to start and see if it's too dry or too wet or what I need to do. You want your mixture to be not horrible and not too thick, somewhere in the middle, it's kind of like a thick pancake batter. Now the only other dry ingredient I'm going to add here is baking soda. Make sure you use baking soda and not baking powder because baking powder is not good for dogs whereas baking soda is okay for them. So just add about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda along with your flour, mix that until combined, and then add in water really until the consistency is like a nice thick batter. If you're enjoying this video so far, please go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment below if you're planning on making this, either for you or your dog. I love to connect with people in the comments, so please comment below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm uploading a new video every single week. And if there's any specific videos you'd love to see from me, definitely comment those below as well because I really want to make content that you guys care about. Of course, as always, make sure you do a little taste test before you're done anything. I wanted to add in a little sprinkle of cinnamon because it's actually really good for dogs in small quantities. And I wanted to add a little bit of extra peanut butter flavor as well, so I just added in some of the peanut butter powder directly. Once it tastes good to you, you can get out your baking pan and just give that a light oil with either coconut oil or olive oil or your oil of choice. And then we are gonna bake it in the oven. Technically, I'm gonna bake it in my air fryer for 350 for 20 minutes. Probably in a larger oven, you're gonna need to do 350 for maybe about 30 minutes. But just keep checking it maybe after 15 or 20 minutes. And if a toothpick or a knife comes out clean, that's how you know it's done. If you are making this for your dog, definitely let them lick the spatula. They're gonna love it. Milo was obsessed. He just wanted to keep eating all of it. 
so I know for sure he's gonna love the cake after. Now I'm just gonna make a little peanut butter drizzle to put over the top of the cake. So I'm just doing a little bit extra watery peanut butter. If you aren't using peanut butter powder and you're using regular peanut butter, it's fine to just drizzle it as is, or you can try adding a little bit of extra water to yours and then just make it a little bit lighter of a consistency so it's easier to drizzle at the end. So after about 20 minutes, this is what she looked like. It looks so good. It rose really nicely, so I'm so happy with that. And I can't wait to decorate this. To help get it out of the pan, I'm just scraping down the edges a little bit and because I did oil it, it did come out really nicely, so that was amazing. And it looks so cute, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Milo and his friends are gonna love it. I'll add in some clips here from his birthday that we went to later that night because the dogs were just so cute and they were absolutely obsessed with this cake. Once you're done drizzling your peanut butter over, you can decorate with any other toppings you like. You could do some peanuts. I added a little bit of crushed peanuts on top, mostly for the photos. And just some bananas around the sides. You can even cut up some banana and put it on top. And yeah, whatever you like, but I think it turned out really good. My dogs loved it, the girls loved it, everybody loved it, so it was a major hit. So again, just check the description below for all the exact measurements. Here is the final result. I think it looks amazing. So happy with how it turned out. If you love this dog birthday cake, you are gonna love my other dessert recipes. I'll link the next one here for you. Check it out, we'll see you there.